the gateway strategy is now done. So, which meaning that since day one of this, I wanted to do a review of it. So, I guess today we will be reviewing the gateway trilogy part one. Let's start this up. <laughs> I think I should explain what is the Gateway Trilogy before I go on any further. Well, before this, please go ahead and subscribe to EXTV, the link will be down below. And if you do like this review at the end of this video, please, I guess, well, like it. So what is the Gateway Trilogy? The Gateway Trilogy is something that it was a bit of a test that EXTV wanted to start with three parts. Now, in my perspective of what is the Gateway Trilogy, what I can say is the Gateway Trilogy is about YXTV playing himself as is in this character and then there's also this this thing I don't know what they call it but I'm just gonna call it a thing where you put one on your neck and there's lots of history about it that you can teleport to different unif universes, different times basically time travel I would say and there's history behind it but then also there's a bad guy trying to get it which did get revealed at the end of part two which I will not say just yet um, but with that character at the end of part two what I want to say is for my own series for the past um, I am playing that character also um, but he, in my in the park, season two is called Hell's TV's son, and he's got a bit of a weird vo voice he has, and he's still got those black eyes and all of that. Um, I'm only voicing; I'm not actually playing. I'm just voicing. So yeah, but I just wanted to throw that in. But the Gateway Trilogy at the start, it, it's something like that: uh, time travel, evil person wants to take over the world, and all of that. And if I got that wrong, feel free to dislike this video. <laughs> So like with everything, um, when it's like a part one, episode one, number one, you always have to start out with an intro, you always have to start out with a bit of an introduction. Even if you do a prologue, you still have to start out with a bit of an intro of this. So um, in this episode we see it being the start of all of this. We see it that... Um, that Yags TV V in this cupboard at the end of like there's lots of stuff and then if he goes down a bit more he's able to time travel between different places that we've seen in different videos. For example, um, the Dr. Pepper um, Strange Addiction parody. And then also at the start of it, um, a bit of a nice reference that he did about eight months ago. Well, maybe a bit more, but one of his short films that he did, um, at first you can't remember now, I think it's called Disappearances, maybe? That also makes a reoccurrence, again, at the start of it. So it's kind of like a very nice thing. The editing is fantastic, the music's on point, and 
from what I know, he got inspired by this. He got inspired to do this by Madrogo Knowledge. So, what do I actually think of it? I think it's amazing. I do. Now, I have filmed a Gag CV documentary and I do explain why the parts can be better than the Gateway Trilogy because I mainly focus it about storyline and how long it is. But then, yeah, again, I'm not really going to question more about it considering that he has just said this kind of like we have a test, not a thing to take too seriously. And if so, there's the possibility of season two of the Gateway Trilogy. So what do I give the Gateway Trilogy part one? I give it a nine out of, a nine out of ten. Now, the reason being I give it a 9 out of 10 is because not everything is absolutely perfect in life. The storytelling is fantastic at this, but I feel like I'll be able to give it a 10 out of 10 within the other parts. But now, there's something missing, so that's how I have to go with it. Anyway, if you want to go and see the whole Gateway Trilogy stuff, please go down to the links below and please subscribe to Yags TV. Now, we will be reviewing part 3 one day, but but part 3 will be reserved for when Yags TV hits 10,000 subscribers because I will have a, that's basically going to be a big day anyway thank you guys so much for watching and considering that this is going to get posted on the Yags TV fam uh, channel on the um, BC site stay good Yagsters peace